It's time now for the first top 40 hit by a New York rock group who almost lost their bass player several months ago when his hair caught on fire during one of their concerts. The four-man group calls itself Kiss, and they're known not only for their heavy metal music, but for their bizarre costumes and stage act. A performance which includes wailing police sirens, exploding drumsticks, rocket-firing guitars, a snow machine, a couple of giant blowtorches, not to mention a fire-breathing bass guitarist. The bass player is Gene Simmons, and one of the most spectacular moments in the show comes when he blows a column of real flame out of his mouth. Now, I can't tell you how he does it, but the first time he tried that stunt, it nearly backfired. Here's the way he remembers the incident. He says, as I did it, my hair caught fire, and if my roadie hadn't jumped up and put it out with his jacket, I would have been a real goner. End of quote. Well, Gene says that after the show, three other rock artists who were in the audience that night, Todd Rundgren, Edgar Winter, and Rick Derringer, all went backstage to see if he was all right and to assure him that he really didn't have to set his hair on fire to be a success because the group's music was hot enough on its own. This week, they move up to number 34 in American Top 40 with Rock and Roll All Night. Here's Kiss. American Top 40. With all the hit facts and figures, I'm Shadow Stevens, and now we're up to the band who once helped a losing high school football team become champions. It happened back in 1974 in the town of Cadillac, Michigan. The Cadillac high school football team had lost the first games of the 1974 season very badly. In fact, frankly, they were creamed. And then the assistant coach came up with a desperate plan to punch up the team spirit. You see, just a few weeks earlier, he'd seen a heavy metal band in concert, and they were a bizarre bunch. Four guys dressed in chrome-studded black leather, five-inch platform boots with claw feet, and their faces painted like hoodoo voodoo nightmares. So on a wild hunch, the coach brought a stack of the band's records to school, and for the next few weeks, he played their high-volume, high-voltage music in the locker room before and after every practice session and before every game. Well, amazingly, the team won their next seven games in a row. The assistant coach was so excited, he wrote to thank that band, KISS. And KISS thought it was so great, they offered to play a free concert at the high school. Well, picture this. When the band showed up at the Cadillac High Homecoming celebration, all the students' faces were painted with KISS makeup. And the next morning, at an official reception... So were all the city officials, from his honor the mayor on down. A true tale of tribute to the band who inspired a high school football team to victory. Well, today, Kiss's makeup is long gone, and here's their first hit without their makeup. Up six notches to number 26 on American Top 40, here's their ballad forever. I gotta tell you what I'm feeling inside. Casey's Top 40. Well, now we're up to Garth Brooks' remake of Hard Luck Woman, a song originally recorded by one of the most successful heavy metal bands in history. Critics call them a cartoon, but their devoted fans gave them 16 gold and platinum albums. It's a group that was born back in 1972 when a schoolteacher named Gene Simmons got together with a struggling musician named Paul Stanley to form a band. Their concept was to be visually exciting and highly theatrical on stage. If they got that down, they figured they could work on their music later. Through want ads in Rolling Stone magazine and The Village Voice, they got together with Ace Fraley and Peter Chris and developed their concept. The first thing they did was to wear outrageous makeup, not just lipstick and rouge, but painted faces that almost didn't look human. And they never, ever appeared in public without that makeup. Then they put together blistering rock and roll and started touring. And thanks to their showmanship, deafening power chords, and over-the-top lyrics, the band they called KISS developed a huge following. But not among the critics. In one review, Rolling Stone magazine put the band down. They asked whether KISS was, quote, cartoon characters or a cranking metal band. Whichever they were, their fans loved them, and they bought their records by the millions. Between 1974 and 1989, KISS put out 16 gold and platinum albums, hitting big with rock anthems like Rock and Roll All Night, Flaming Youth, Love Gun, and a 1977 hit by KISS that's now been remade by country superstar and longtime KISS fan, 
Garth Brooks. It's the song that climbs two notches to number 26 on Casey's Top 40. Garth Brooks and Hard Luck Woman. And the countdown rolls on. Casey's Top 